Hello everybody, Toastbomb here with another Wacky Wednesday, and I know, I know it's not Wednesday, just don't say anything, just don't tell anyone, it's okay. But anyways, today we are only beating down people and assassinating people. Now, oh my god, this was so hard to do. This was really hard to do. It took me a long time to get this. Now, I have done this in other games, and it wasn't as hard to do as it was in this game. And I think largely... What was that? Dude, do you see that? What was that? That was crazy. I, that's a weird when that happens, like the animations glitch out. But anyways. Yeah, I think it's largely due to the... <laughs> and look at that right there. Because I just look like the stupidest person trying to hide behind that thing. Anyways, like I was saying... I think it's largely due to the way the maps are laid out. They are much bigger and open than they used to be because of sprint and all that stuff. And then also, they're kind of a little more linear, if that makes any sense, where a lot of them are just kind of like corridors, and you just go down that direction. And there's not quite as much just random open space that you can go to. Sort of like a map like Halo 3. Halo 3 Ghost Town. There's a lot of just kind of like random sort of open space. It wasn't really necessarily all made to be used, so it was a lot easier to kind of hide around and sneak up on guys. But in a map like this especially, it's pretty much just like there's always only two hallways someone could come down from your position. So it was a lot harder to sneak up on people. And also, um, I had to kind of try and get a pro game type because it was a lot easier without the radar. That radar made it way, way harder to do. Um, and then also, obviously, like, when it's pro settings, it's not quite as crazy and hectic because people aren't just randomly, like, getting rocket launchers and things. So I can kind of just... Oh, I, I should have got that! I don't know actually how I didn't get that. That was kind of crazy. Looks like he should have been weak enough. But yeah, people aren't just randomly having, like, rocket launchers and things that they're just going to blow me up when I try and come around the corner to smack them in the face. So, that also makes it a lot harder as well. But, yeah. Like I said, it was freaking hard. But, I did actually come up with a little bit of a strategy. You'll see me sometimes, kind of like, not really now. I'll try and point it out next time it does happen, though. Where I'm trying to get in between my teammate, or on the outside of a teammate and an enemy, if that makes sense. So, from me, and in between my teammate, there would be an enemy there. And try and get it so that my teammate distracts the enemy, so I can just go behind the enemy and hit him in the face. So let's see if one of those... Yeah, not, not really happening here, but yeah, I'll point it out next time it happens. And then also, I tried to sort of stay around the overshield. I wasn't really timing it. I'm not even sure if you can time it. I wasn't paying attention to the the timing. It might just be random in this game type. I don't know. But I was also trying to stay kind of near it every once in a while after I felt like it's probably going to come up. Because that can help a lot. As you can see there, I just ran in there and smacked that dude in the face. And he couldn't really do anything about it because I had overshield. And I did end up dying, but at least I got a kill. And I actually did end up going even in this game. And this was the first game that I actually ended up going even with doing this. It was 14 kills and 14 deaths and I believe 2 assists. All the other games, I kept going, like, you know, negative 3, negative 2, negative 4. And I was like, man, I at least want to get even and then I think I'll be happy with this because it's kind of frustrating to play like this um, but I did eventually get it and this was the game and then here I just totally kind of try and sprint in I'm like oh Jesus and I run away I did not think I was gonna get away from that I was surprised that I actually managed to get away now that that place is such a good hiding place no one ever finds you there I love those that little place in those boxes. It's just so so weird. Like sometimes there's just places on maps that's just like no, but it's just a place nobody uses, and it's just kind of cool that it's there. 
Sort of like I was talking about earlier, Ghost Town, where there's just those tunnels and no one ever used it unless it was like oddball team doubles and then people would bring the ball back there, but it's just sort of a space that's there, or like on Longbow, there's just those random like places just sort of out there. Like there's that whole building with the helicopter pad that nobody uses. Nobody uses. It's never there. Oh, and that was so lucky. I'm pretty sure that guy was not going for me. He was trying to snipe my teammate with the overshield right there, and he just I just happened to line up with his face. Or his sniper happened to line up with my face, and he shot. So that was kind of unfortunate. And then, yeah, it kind of just ends up being this a lot of the game, where, like, they're just sort of in the back of here, and I'm just rushing in, trying to desperately to get a kill right here again that guy actually kind of meant to shoot me there but again like, I didn't think he was gonna see me but um but yeah that like longbow like there's just that random helicopter building nobody uses and it's just kind of cool that it's there even though it's kind of weird that it doesn't get used or what is another one vortex Oh my gosh, Vortex, there's like three areas that nobody uses. It's like, especially the two on the sides of the map, there's that weird building uh, that's like under the overhang or whatever that is over there. And then there's kind of the more open side. It's just those two buildings, it's like, I didn't even know that existed until I randomly came across it. That was crazy. And then right here, no! Sprint, be faster! If that guy wasn't shooting me, I, I wouldn't have been getting tagged or whatever you want to call it and slowed down. And I probably could have smacked that dude in the back. And, um, yeah, I think that's another thing about this. Like, Halo Reach, this was a little bit easier to do, I feel like, because the sprint... You didn't slow down, so you can just kind of truck and just like, and just, you know, Iron Man through that, all the freaking barrage of bullets that were coming at you, and you can beat someone down. But in this game, it's like, you do it, and it's like, no, oh, you can push back by the bullets, and ah, it's, it's just like, ah, this is the most frustrating thing ever. You start, you know, you get, you start stepping on gum on the floor or something, you can't move as fast, and it's crazy. So I think that's another reason that this is a little bit... And how did how did they not kill me there? Oh my god, they should have killed me there. And then this... Oh, this is fun times, look at this. Oh, juked you out because I missed melee. Oh, uh, running around. Oh, juking him out. <laughs> Try to jump up the box, fail. Oh no, he's there. Run away, run away. Miss melee, run away. Ah, behind the stairs. <laughs> Juke him out, run away. Oh no, he can shoot. I can't run away. Run away, don't see me, other person going up the stairs. Run away. Go behind the stairs. Miss a melee. Miss another melee. <laughs> Miss another melee. Okay, he's dead. Run away. <laughs> that was an epic, epic uh, little ring around the rosy game I had going there. Uh, and I, I, that guy, that guy should have killed me earlier. And then I jump off the map for good measure. Because, you know, that's just going out with style, man. That's all I was trying to do, just going out with style. Because at the end of the day, that's what counts. But, <clears throat> anyways, let's see. Try jumping up here. And yeah, like I said, this is kind of the rest of the game here. It's me just trying desperately to get back here. Because they just kept going back here. Like, they just sort of try to keep going where their teammates were, and there was always, like, one teammate back there. And they were trying to get where their teammates were, so we were just constantly, like, back here. It was kind of ridiculous. But anyways, this game is starting to wrap up. It's 59 to 55. We do end up winning this game. Let's see, do I get the last kill? Oh man, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. It's been like 30 seconds with no kill. I'm no shield. What's gonna happen? Am I gonna get the last kill? Our teammate just died. Our teammate just died in their base. Coming around. Ninja sneaky guy. Oh, the sniper. He doesn't see me. Oh, last kill. And I did get the last kill. So, like I said earlier, that ended up being 14 kills, 14 deaths, and 2 assists. But... 
Anyways, that'll be it for this one. If you liked it, you can leave a like or a comment, or you can subscribe because I post new Halo videos every day. And if you do want to leave a comment, feel free to leave a suggestion for next week's Wacky Wednesday. And if it gets a lot of upvotes or it gets asked multiple times, or I just really like it, I might pick that one for next week. But anyways, see you later. Bye.